Mr. President, thank you. I rise to explain my vote uh, and speak very clearly for my constituents back at home. Uh, and to everyone in the 52nd Senate District, I can say very clearly and unequivocally that this bill is nothing more than a sham. It's a lie and it is a blatant disregard for the will of the people. Instead of rescinding the governor's executive power, this legislation strengthens the governor's control over the lives of everyday New Yorkers. It allows the governor full control to extend his current executive emergency directives. Now, we heard today that, well, he can't issue new ones. What more could this governor possibly do? He's issued 96 executive orders that have drastically changed the lives of millions of New Yorkers. How we go to school, how we eat in restaurants, how, how and who we can have at our homes, uh, when and where we can marry our wife or our husband, when can we get a haircut. I heard today that what we're saying on this side of the aisle is political theatrics. Well, if standing up for your constituency is political theatrics, then so be it. This bill is nothing more than a political prop. It's nothing more than a perfect example of hypocritical nonsense, and it is a complete waste of time. It does nothing to address the failures of this administration in handling the COVID-19 pandemic. It does nothing to protect New Yorkers from future mistakes. And it continues, most importantly, to put the legislature on the sidelines and to prevent us from doing the job that we were elected to do. We have a constitutional responsibility to the people who elected us. We are a co-equal branch of government. Why do we continue to abdicate our responsibilities? And I think worst of all, what this bill does is it gives the governor an unlimited extension to make any changes to the orders he's already given. We also heard today that, well, there is legislative oversight. Well, what does that mean, legislative oversight? I'll tell you what it means. We as legislators can offer a comment on what the governor is doing. In my humble opinion, Mr. President, passing this bill is worse than doing nothing. The people of this great state deserve better. I'll tell you who else deserves better. The families of the thousands of, thousands of nursing home patients who lost their lives to gross mismanagement. The sons, the daughters, the grandchildren of innocent victims. That's who deserve better. Today we had an opportunity and a chance to do something meaningful for the people of this state and the thousands of families who have been lied to. But instead, the leadership in both the Senate and the Assembly have chosen once again to hide from their responsibilities to New Yorkers, go back on their word, and hypocritically acquiesce to the governor's grip on executive power. Instead, the leadership have chosen to perpetuate the culture of lies, deception, and politics above all else and above the people that we were elected to serve. And one has to ask themselves a question. What kind of deal was really made? Uh, it was made in a closed room, behind closed doors, and quite frankly, I think it was reminiscent of the February 17th meeting in which we learned much about what was happening. I, for one, Mr. President, am not going to sit silent. The people of New York have, uh, have shown that they can tolerate, endure, and move forward through many things that Albany forces down their throats, but this kind of blatant hypocrisy is not one of them. Very simply put, you can put all the lipstick you want on a pig, but at the end of the day, it's still a pig. Mr. President, I vote no.